Remember, you have two minutes now. There will be questions, but at the end, you'll all have another minute to wrap up, okay? All right? Mr. William Martin, please. Thank you. My name is, is Bill Martin. I'm running for re-election. I've served uh, six terms on the city council. Uh, thanks to the folks who put this together, and thank you all for being here. It's uh, encouraging to see so much interest. Uh, on the topic of infrastructure, I think uh, this is a, an important one for the city. It's also one where the city council has pretty much control. You know, so often as a councilor, there are things that require state law approval, federal approval, but you know, when you get up in the morning, you turn on the water faucet, and you want to know that water's going to work. That's really an item of local control. And I think we've made good strides in improving our water system, our sewer system. And along with that has come road improvements. Uh, we've seen, as part of the sewer separation project, improvements throughout Pawtucketville, a place like Sparks and Emory Street, uh, not that long ago. Uh, just recently, and within the last month, over in um, the Grove, you've seen Lawrence and Moore Streets and South Wall Woburn Street all improved related to those water and sewer improvement projects. So that's something the council has been focused on. It's something that your water and sewer fees pay for. And, and you may say, well, why are we doing that work now? But it's a, it needed to be done, number one. But number two, uh, in an economy like this, it does provide jobs. We do get favorable pricing uh, when we bid projects like that and the interest rate costs are very low. So now is a way to get people working. It's a way to get our money, um, our bond money out there at a very low and reasonable interest rate and lock that in for a period of time. And it gets work done that needs to be done. Um, we've done the similar things with parks. The Concord River Greenway is a recent example. Uh, the straight uh, park at Shed Park, another innovative thing. It costs less to run that than it does a pool so uh, that investment actually saves money over time because the ongoing operating costs are less. Uh, I'm Bill Martin, running for a uh, re-election. Appreciate one of uh, Thank you. My name's Bill Martin. I'm running for re-election. I've served uh, on the city council six terms. Uh, thank you all for being here tonight. Armin did uh, get to plug his birthday, election day. I just wanted to mention that I'm a lifelong resident uh, of the city, which has now been 50 years and approximately a week. <laughs> we did talk, did talk about uh, some of the infrastructure problems uh, and, and improvements that we've made. Uh, I did not mention code enforcement, but just two things we've done is this receivership program, which allows us to go into court and take over a property if the owner is not keeping it up. We've started that. We've had two successes uh, just in the last month in the housing court where that's been ordered. We've also implemented a uh, system of foreclosure ordinances, which has yielded half a million dollars in fines from national lenders who have not complied with our ordinance. So that's money that's come back to the city to help boost enforcement efforts. So those are just two things uh, we've done this time, and we'll continue to do that. Bill Martin, I'd ask you to vote.